Well, hot dog, boys, I got me a granata. But uh, in all seriousness, look at this beauty. Hello, Tavarish, where are you going? You look like you have the body of a tiger. All of them left without me. Oh my god, that sounds gorgeous. All right, let's go to the big one here. Ooh, that's nice. Who wants to get in my tank? Ha, huh? dibs. What is he doing on it? Oh, dude, look at this. We got a giant truck full of infantry here. And what we're up against... Excuse me? What? They just... You sank my battleship. All right, boys. Kobe! I don't think it's gonna work. So the point of this map is... This is a series by Vel, and it seems to be inspired by Fifth Smell's Project Altiris. And the map that we have today is a trench defense map. Now, the enemy, or I guess depending on which team you're on, the allies, or the enemy, is going to be holding this trench defense, and they've also got an airfield, and they're going to be intact by an incredible amount of vehicles. And look at this anti-tank gun right here. So these guys are, what, supposed to be the Germans or something like that? Oh my god, look at the tanks burning out in the fields. This AT gun is finding its targets. No one wants the... Well, never mind. I take it back. I was gonna say, nobody wants to be the machine gunner up here, but this guy's like, no. I volunteer as tribute. So, lots of the tanks are getting shot down over there. Let's go ahead and peruse the rest of these defenses. And then the airfield. Oh my god, what is that? What is this? Oh my god, they're trying to make more baby tanks! No, but it looks like a tank destroyer of some sort. And then we've got an airfield with this guy. Okay, so how this works, Billy, is he's the gunner and you're the pilot. I wonder how long it's gonna take them to figure it out, but that's a pretty cool looking plane. We've also got these nice little wagons. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Whoa, 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 whoa! These guys are like, what, building it or putting it together? That is cool. And each team has their own guns. There's Delum of Thesia, the Delamod and the Thesian faction, and their primaries are a, a very Russian-inspired submachine gun or rifle. And the Reds have, uh... Is this German-inspired? I guess that could be the MP-18, maybe? And it looks like we can spawn either at the trenches or the airfield. I want to spawn at the uh, airfield here. And I want to get this plane. But I also want to hear this. Son? Sons of biscuits! That's illegal! Sir, pull the plane over. Oh my god. Hold on. No, nobody saw that. You guys didn't see that, right? <laughs> hey, they both survived. Hey, uh, don't tell anybody about that or else. All right, that's more like it. Now when it landed, hold on, I need a few a few good men here. A reload animation on this AT rifle is fantastic. Check this out. Ready? Now watch, it, they breach load it. Oh, hold on, I, I gotta talk to my people. Oh shoot. I became the gunner. Let's see how this works. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride, I guess. Now he is driving like a drunk fish. And I know, you're probably like, I've never seen a drunk fish fly a plane before, neither have I, but this is exactly what it might be like. Alright, attempt number 78. Soldier. Soldier. You guys know how this goes, right? We've seen this movie before. Oh, it's the IB-32 Deerov. What is that guy doing? I thought he was about to run over my gunner. <laughs> Alright, there she is in all of her beauty. Alright, now I'm the pilot. I'm the captain now. It looks like we got some nice red roundels with a little white interior. My gunner over there. It'd be really cool if you could pop up landing gear. But you can't. So this is first person view. Could always be a little more detailed cockpit, but more can come in the future. So let's go ahead and check out what kind of weapon. So if you look in the lower left, it looks like we got 12.7 millimeter or 50 cal- Oh my god, the landing gear went off! Yes! Okay. We got 50 caliber machine guns. So we shoot at a tank in futility. Hello, Tovarish. Then we pull up. Clearly, it's a video game. Now I've got a 500 kilo bomb. Uh oh. I'm a little bit low. I'm gonna blow myself up. <laughs> you know that awkward feeling when you, uh, you know, hit the button, you drop the 500 kilo bomb. 
and and then you're like, oh, I want to go look at it and see where it hit. So you don't pull up and you kill yourself? Yeah, I hate that too. It's so awkward. Oh my god, look at all those just infantry scurrying around like little ants down there. I know. And ants always makes me think of home wars. Alright, so let's get in a bomber view and let's see if we can't lead a tank appropriately. Alright, so there we go. I'm at a proper elevation. I think that's gonna overshoot the tank, but just a little bit. And by overshoot it, I mean it's gonna fall short. Okay. So, I'm just a rubbish bomber at this point, and I need to work on it a little bit. Dive, 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 dive. Oh, that's an anti-aircraft thing. Help me! I don't have any gu- Stop it! So that was like a little truck with an anti-aircraft cannon on the back of it. Yikes. Oh my god, look at that flak defense he's putting up. We can't get too close to it, man, or we're dead. Oh shoot, they captured the trench? That's illegal! Probably because their bomber plane is A, about to get shot down. We're just out of range, hold on. I gotta silence this guy. This is not gonna go well for me. Ah! <laughs> They're like, you idiot, I didn't even have to shoot you down. I take your wing now, goodbye forever. Everybody fall back to the airfield! Oh my god, they're here. Stop charging me! So that's the enemy tank that we saw, remember. He's smoking, hold on. Hello, enemies. Enemies of the state. Where are these bullets coming from? I can't tell who's who. That's an enemy tank. The guys with blueberry jam are bad. Their tanks are just overrunning the airfield. What is that? Alright. This is- this is the truck. We're gonna get vengeance. <laughs> Look at that idiot. <laughs> now he's like, help me, Tomarish! Goodbye, Paul. You shot down my plane, Paul. I'm pretty upset about it. Gentlemen, we need to defend this here flag point. Everybody get in defensive positions. Hold on to your butts. Oh my god, that was a whole like... Ugh. Oh man, they got a shoddy. No, I promise it's okay if you get in that plane. I, I, I won't shoot you down this time. Now, what is this thing? Wait, he's on top of the plane. The one time I let him do it. All right, I am in it. It looks like a uh, an open turreted. No, it's not even a turret per se. It actually has a very limited firing angle. I can move to the left, but I can't traverse right. But I have a 75 millimeter, and I only have armor piercing. And High explosive rounds. Oh my god, this is epic. Okay, so I'm gonna take my position up here. Ooh, someone hit me with a very powerful gun. Ooh, that was a little low. Okay, we need to aim a little higher. Just a little higher. Just a little higher. Yeah, direct hit. Oh wait, my thing's about to blow up. It, it did. It blew up. Well, you know what they say, never, never, never give up. That man is on fire. Oh! Alright, well, what happens when we spawn up there? In the trenches, because I feel like, honestly, that might be where we need to go. I need to find the anti-tank gun, which is... Soldier. You know the drill. Officer... Gets gun. If officer ask, officer get. Yeah, I got a hit! Oh my god, okay, so... I'm trying to hit those trucks. Okay, I do have HE rounds. Dude, the sound of this sucker. Oh my god, they're... They're, they're getting close. I'm trying to get the troop transport because I feel like that's one of the greater threats. Oh, that almost was a direct hit. Yeah! Woo! Scratch one bandit. Little armored cars getting hit. I wish this grass wasn't in the way. There we go. AC Ford has been hit twice. Gentlemen, partake of the bologna sandwiches. In Red Bull, we gotta defend this here trench. Uh-oh. AC 40. Bum rushing. I wish I had a, a designated loader. Oh man, they've already taken the flag. Jeez! Alright, so I'm knocking these things out. Oh my god, did you just see that? There was like four shell- <laughs> Look at my scope. I think a shell- Oh. Uh... What? So the blue team just captured the trench and I had to respawn back at the airbase again. That's not good for us, the defenders. Dang it! He took my plane. Oh, who's that? You know what I haven't done is fire the shotgun yet. <laughs> I can keep firing? Okay, so look where the second and third shot were. I like straight up space cadetted those. And that cloud looks oddly like a thumbprint. Whoa, I can't reload my gun. Grenade out! What about now? Oh, that was 
super weird. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at the truck. <laughs> Look at the truck flying up in the background. <laughs> I don't know what hit him. Oh, someone shot me in the nuts. So this is a very cool idea for a map. I don't know if it's balanced very well because the blue team has so many vehicles. Are those blue guys? Oh my God, they are. By the way, the way this rifle fires is amazing and they just shot my leg out from under me, but I will not surrender. Are these guys good or bad? Yeah, I think the defenders need just... Uh-oh. No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't stop. I'm at 18 health, Teko. Needless to say, I love these kind of like war-inspired maps and mods. They're not just maps anymore. They're definitely mods. And when you look at this, it looks like a tiger... It looks like it's supposed to be kind of like a tiger tank. But almost like a British Churchill. Turret, maybe? Very interesting. And then they've got these troop transports that are pretty cool. Look at these guys. Get in, idiots, for going to invade Poland. And then you have the anti-aircraft one with it looks like twin auto cannons on the back. And is this guy cross-arming it? Bro. Bro, that's not how you do it. Hold on, you- that- that is hilarious. Look at how he's holding it, like, duh, I don't know, boss. Yeah, try using- never mind, you know what, I'm not gonna tell you how you- to do your job. If it works for you, it works. And you have these- oh, these definitely look like- whoa. Pretty cool looking auto cannons to shoot down the planes, but nobody's on it. But very, very cool mod, Vel. I'd love to see more of the Della mod. You know, the storyline. What's the story? What other maps? What other areas in the theater of war and Delum do we get to see? You know? But it's just amazing. The Ravenfield modding community, what people have done, what they continue to do. It's just like, look at this. Like, like, look at this. This poor machine gunner. The life of a machine gunner. I don't think it has a uh, yeah, well, no, never mind. He's probably having to reload it. He's reloaded. We got the anti-tank guns. It looks like this one just got I don't know if that was destroyed, but here's one back here. Oh no, that's the anti-tank vehicle. It almost reminds me of like one of the German designs. What was it? The Waffentrager from like World of Tanks? Sie Waffentrager, jawohl. Little Waffentrager esque. Hold on, dude, man. Look at this, dude, man. Hey, mate. Hey, dude, man. Why don't you hold on? And look at these guys like running through this wheat field, hay field. And look at that. This tank. It's got the main gun, the coaxial mounted machine gun, and the hull mounted machine gun. So it's got three guns bristling from the front there. Two in the turret. One in the tank chassis. You better get out of the way there, young Yuri, or you gonna get run over. No, the tank driver's like, I will not run over my comrades. Never mind. I might think about running over them with a jeep. No, they stop. Look at that. The AI, I dare say it. I know, it's Ravenfield. You almost don't want to believe it. They might just be getting a tad bit smarter. These, never mind. I say it, and all these guys just like, ran out, got absolutely poo-pooed on. Why is there no one manning this machine gun? Yeah, I definitely spoke too soon about whole, like, smartness. But if you could combine a few different games, I think you'd have, like, the dream World War II game. And what I would say is you want to combine Men of War Assault Squad 2, Ravenfield, and, like, World of Tanks and War Thunder. You could combine all those and Battlefield. Yes! The best of all of those games, and I like all of those games. If you could combine the best parts, you'd have the quintessentially perfect World War II game. But we're playing Ravenfield, and this is the Delamont, and it's nothing like that, and it's still fun. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching another video of Ravenfield. Let me know what you'd like to see in the next one, and I'll see you guys in the next video.